Willkommen zu Moster TV. Mein Name ist Kai Tannemann aka Motensen and today uh, this is the first part of the uh, making of, uh, of the Rockwell 67 Buck ID. So it's uh, this is a little uh, job I did in the beginning of this year and uh, yeah, I decided to, to split uh, the, the making of in, in more parts because uh, there's something interesting stuff in it. You, you maybe see the short uh, piece uh, right here on YouTube on my channel. It's just uh, 20 seconds uh, altogether and uh, just three, four shots. And yeah, there's uh, some, something uh, maybe interesting in like uh, modeling and uh, sculpting, texturing, uh, rigging this bug and uh, what what again uh, rigging and then of course uh, rendering and animating stuff. Uh, there's a part for uh, for the antenna thing. Uh, it's made with MoGraph and at the end maybe uh, a few words. Compositing. So and, and because it's it's a lot of stuff, I decide to split it in parts, and uh, that means this first part is more or less just the entertaining one. Yeah, where I uh, like to uh, tell you about the creation part, the uh, yeah what what's uh, happened while this project and in, in terms of developing developing this bug. And so on and after this I made some more technical parts and show you how things uh, the uh, what I did uh, while the production of this thing yes <laughs> okay 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 and uh, yeah I, I try to make it fast so uh, please don't uh, wanna when I skip uh, some parts because this is uh, my document for a uh, speak I prepared. Uh, I I heard uh, yeah in in Mars uh, of two thousand thirteen I think um, in Germany and uh, yeah I, I prepared in in uh, the texts in English and this is what I can show you now. It's like I said for the creation part. So and. Uh, yeah, let's go. Making of uh, 67 Rockwell Bug ID by Mosa T. Yeah, so the agency is uh, here from Germany, Hamburg. It's a tiny agency called London and Rodman. And they uh, uh, plan to make a whole website for, for our a client and the client is uh, um, how it's called in English. It's a uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to uh, describe. It. Um, this is a firm who uh, gives other uh, companies ideas uh, how they can make their business better. You know what I mean? I hope so. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, the, the website was planned uh, in some uh, uh, different planet mood, you know, like, uh, like Mars or something, uh, but in a more uh, bluish, dark stone uh, mood. So it's a kind of an alien planet, a mysterious place, and and yeah, I don't know why, but this is what they <laughs> planned for the website of the client, and um, the the idea was making some uh, ideas when you start the website, you can uh, see uh, a little movie, and uh, every movie should feature uh, a creature that lives on this planet, and and every of these creatures. Uh, have some instruments uh, naturally integrated uh, to analyze and uh, collect information about the environment and so yeah it's a metaphor for for company stuff 
So what I have to do at first is uh, coming up with some ideas about the uh, creatures and uh, developing uh, some creatures. And what I start is, uh, okay, we have this uh, alien planet thing in, in mind and uh, what I like to do is uh, developing some kind of insects or, or different uh, animals that are perfect fits to this environment. So uh, the idea is every, uh, every animal it's perfect uh, hidden in this nature. Yeah? So uh, maybe it looks like stone. Okay. And then I, I go to the drawing board and <laughs> make some squirrels and you can see here are uh, different types of insects yeah for for example his uh, uh, human 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 bird like uh, animal yeah and and it's always planned that it's uh, like insects and, and where the the our earth insects have this uh, chitin uh, shell, no? um, they have some stuff that looking uh, like, like stone and inside where normal uh, there's flesh they have some uh, light, 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 <laughs> some, some bluish uh, transparent uh, gill stuff, you know, and this stuff is magic so this, you can uh, imagine, uh, for example, this this little bug in the, in the middle. Uh, it, it looks like a stone and, and have just this bluish uh, substance, uh, and uh, out of this can every time uh, growing some tentacles or something, and so this this uh, animal can uh, walk and 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 also fly and yeah that's the whole that's a basic idea yeah every animal has some stone parts and some of this bluish scale yeah and I choose blue scale just because I hoped uh, in comparison to to black stone stuff it looks cool yeah <laughs> so um, okay yeah and there's a, a few uh, animals I I come up with and and some uh, plants too and the next step was to, to present this to the client and, and when you present a raw idea uh, you put uh, some, some moods together so this is uh, because of this uh, there are some pictures from, from the stone of course and from the bluish loomy gale material uh, I have in mind and yeah, this is the basic idea is there's uh, strange uh, creatures that mimicry the environment and yeah, have some organs to analyze the environment. Okay, so and I start of course with CPD and C4D, sorry, <laughs> and uh, make the first test. This is just the, the very raw first test, grabbing uh, a thing and deforming it uh, like like a basic stone and uh, just to to test the first idea about how the lumi gel uh, tentacles can look like and and what is about the stone stuff in this case it don't look very photorealistic or something but yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and while I, I thinking about this uh, things, the agency gives me feedback and said, uh, okay, for, for the first step, it's it's maybe uh, yeah, we are a bit afraid. It's maybe too too strange for the client to have this very very alien like stuff. So for the first step, uh, the first animal can maybe just uh, uh, some kind of bug, yeah, or more or less uh, casual bug. And I think, okay, no problem, then uh, at first we, we go back and uh, yeah, so I start to, to modeling this and it's, it's more or less uh, oriented on, on the, uh, I don't know the, the English word for it, in, in German it's Mistkiefer, yeah, <laughs> it's a well-known uh, kind of bug um, and the only thing I 
like to do different are the uh, legs because the original bark has, has very flat legs and uh, it looks not so interesting I think and so I change uh, this and yeah I make my own version and you see it, it's very simple yeah it's very rough modeled and uh, but it's okay because um, it is the next part the texturing is, is more important to get the stone look I, stone look I like <laughs> To have. So, and, and this is what I did. I um, uh, doing some raw uh, painting uh, on a sphere uh, with the sculpting tool, like I said. Uh, later, I can make some uh, tutorials about the modeling, about the sculpting, and something. And bake this to a displacement map and a normal map and uh, with a texture together, uh, just put it on the Back. and this is uh, what I come up with so it's my first test I think okay it's it's nice I like it and uh, yeah this is a few tests from from other side to show the client the progress and uh, I, I do this uh, rotation thing because um, there are some reflection uh, parts in in the stone and, and I like to to, sh uh, to learn how, how it uh, reacts when, when you turn it around. And yeah, okay, these are the, the very first uh, steps. You see uh, there is some kind of this bluish gear integrated. And yeah, this is our just uh, uh, photo pictures from my workplace and you see on the left side, this is the bug. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I don't know an English word for it, but um, this is an original bug I, I oriented on, but uh, change it in, in detail uh, in, in a more direction I like. And uh, yes, uh, this, this was, was my first test, and I'm very happy about it because the kind of stone uh, looks like I like. Um, because I, I'm, I'm not just uh, like to have photorealistic stone, um, I'm of course a motion designer and like to have uh, some stylish stone too, yeah? <laughs> and uh, this is what I come up with and I like it a lot. And so, this part was finished, yeah? It's, it's very fast done. You see the modeling is very easy, basic stuff and uh, Thanks of uh, the sculpting tool, I, I make a, a nice displacement map and just put it on a bug, and he looks looks like oh god, he looks like I like, and that's it. Yeah, then I'm finished. <laughs> bug is not huh? So oh, the next part is interesting, and, and this is of course the part where I can show you more uh, uh, in, in the easy way uh, about the rigging because. Uh, since Cinema R30, I think, we have this very, very nice character tool where you can uh, make uh, human-like or, or, or insects or uh, some kind of, of uh, quad-like animal uh, just, just with a few mouse clicks, yeah? And this is uh, speeded up uh, f uh, four times or something. But in real time, yeah, it just need uh, one hour to 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 rig and, and scanning the the whole bug, and this is just to show you uh, the the basic how it works. And of course, I will make a, a more in detail tutorial later, so I can show you how it works. It's very very easy, and and it's it's a very really great tool inside Cinema 4D to make that. Uh, without knowing anything about uh, traditional rigging stuff, yeah? You can do it and it just works. It's great. So, and and yeah, this is a basic uh, skeleton and, and with a few more, yeah, it works, <laughs> with a few more uh, clicks of the mouse, uh, you can see it's very easy to, to make first test, let uh, walk them uh, around the alignment, because we have, uh, in addition to this character tool, a uh, tool called uh, Scene Motion. And like you can see, it's just a spline. And I can uh, set this 
new creature to, to walk on the spline. Like this. Clack. Yeah. It's very easy. Yeah. And it's very great. It's just fun to make. Yeah. You, it's no rocket science anymore, rigging uh, a simple character. It's uh, fun. And I show you uh, in, in one of the next parts how this works. Yeah. You can give them uh, a, a ground and then <laughs> he is oriented on the spline but uh, walking on the ground. And this is just great. <laughs> it's, it's fun, yeah. Okay, and after this, um, the, the next part is called skinning, yeah, and it means give this skeleton uh, thing to the back. So, this is skinning and testing, yeah, okay, it works. And after this, I have my first test, yeah. And because for this job, I have uh, so much time uh, because there was no real deadline. And uh, it was of the end of last year. Uh, uh, again, holiday time. I, I can play around, and so I, I make this little uh, walk test and have fun because you can see something you created just a day, uh, starting to create just a day before, and and uh, one day later, it's, you have the <laughs> uh, walking uh, animal on your screen, and it's just great. I loved it. So. And okay, now the, the back is uh, ready for animation. And uh, there is, of course, uh, an element I missed till now. It's a kind of uh, analyze organ. Yeah, and in this case, I, I think about uh, some kind of antenna. Yeah, a parabol antenna. Hope this is the right English word. And uh, yeah, I tried some, some stuff like this, yeah, <laughs> and because I have the uh, ready to, to work uh, back, I can just connect um, anything on, on, on the back of the back and let's work. <laughs> it's very funny to see. Okay, so, uh, and after this I decide to, to, it's not the right one, and I tried some elements that looks like stone too, yeah, and, and go in, in different directions, because I have enough time and can uh, choose anything I like. So, and this is a, a test with, uh, yeah, some stonish looking uh, stuff. <laughs> and, and of course, uh, a first test uh, how uh, our, our antenna out of this blue luminescence uh, gel can look like, yeah? You, you see, they are just tests I did. So, and of course, again, walking uh, around, yeah? This looks very bad, yeah? This antenna, it's, it's like, a, like a glass flower, it's not cool. <laughs> so, and um, what I did next is, uh, because it's not just having this bug, ready to animate, I have to make a little movie, yeah, and the original plan was a very, very short ID, um, just five seconds or something, and the guys uh, who, who give me the job uh, shooting a material in, in New Zealand, um, but, uh, yeah, I, and I, I try to make a, a little uh, idea out of this uh, shooted material in, com in combination with this bag. For example. And uh, this is a mix, mix of some uh, different techniques. Yeah, This is uh, made out of a photo. This is shooted um, and, and I very like this, this scene, but the problem is uh, it's not the right uh, perspective I liked. Yeah? Because um, I need something very much near to, to the ground. And so it's okay for a first test, but uh, I think okay, it's, it may, that could be better. So, and the feedback from the agency this, uh, on this point was hey, please uh, don't make the antenna stuffs uh, with this organic, uh, can we make it more mechanic? Yeah. 
and and yeah, just just orient on on traditional uh, military antenna stuff, you know. And uh, so I give the bug this, <laughs> and and uh, I, I changed uh, the the stuff on on the back from from the back from the bug on the back from the bug. Uh, in more metallic uh, direction too and so we end up with this little guy Ring, ring. so and this is made uh, with, with MoGraph it's, it's interesting because uh, I just set uh, a few uh, keyframes to, to animate uh, a basic thing this is uh, cloned and, and copied and rotated uh, with more graph tool and uh, you end up with stuff like this yeah it's very very easy but you can make uh, interesting animation out of this so and yeah after I decide to not use the uh, shoot footage um, because uh, I, I like uh, different uh, perspectives for for the back um, I decide, sorry, it's maybe a bit loud here, yeah, to make the environment in CG2 and starting with uh, some testing, uh, some stone looking stuff, yeah. And in this case, yeah, you see it's just uh, something uh, with a bit displacement and I tested how it looks and so on. And this is in the cinema, the, the whole scene. It's just a foreground uh, object and some uh, stone-like objects in the background. Because we have just this one uh, camera perspective and uh, it's no need for, for more environment. So, and yeah, this is what I come up with at the end. Yeah, it's, it's the stonish environment where the bug <laughs> magic happens. And because I have now a real environment, I can uh, do, of course, uh, another shot with a different perspective. Yeah, it's, it's, and so I uh, can make more shots to, um, to instantian, lost the word, sorry, to, to give the bug more screen time, you know. <laughs> And yeah, okay, uh, and uh, yeah, this is interesting because uh, I, I'm working on it and, and give the um, agency some previews and so. And uh, while I'm doing this, the agency shows the client my whole uh, scribble stuff, you know, where I have this idea with the bluish uh, gel uh, flesh like stuff, and uh, the client love this bluish stuff and uh, give the feedback uh, please add this again to, to the bug so the next step is bringing <laughs> back uh, again the, the bluish stuff to, to the bug and so I changed the animation uh, a bit so that we see more of this bluish uh, stuff on the back of the bark and uh, yeah and then just wing like things becoming more of this uh, lumi gel and yeah I, I like it because uh, it makes uh, yeah it's it's um, looks a bit cooler it's just a stone bug okay so the next thing is compositing um, yeah I, I fly over it because uh, it's maybe a, a part uh, normally, I just uh, rendering the uh, so-called beauty parts uh, means the, the whole three D scene with all stuff in it, and uh, give myself rendering myself a deep map. Um, in this case, I, I rendered uh, the whole uh, deeper field and uh, motion blur, everything with physical renderer built in in three D. It's uh, normally not the way you're working for clients, but in this case I have so much time and can render again and again and uh, so I can react on maybe feedback from the clients and just render the whole stuff again. Um, it's, it's not a normal situation, but uh, yeah, in this case I, I just put it directly in 3D 
and, uh, and the only addition is uh, give, uh, rendering out some uh, object paths to uh, yeah have the chance to to change uh, brightness and colors and, and some different parts of the screen. So you see. It's a, a mask for, for the ground, for the back, for, for the background, for, for this little plant and uh, yeah. So I can change uh, some colors and brightness stuff in the scene into in, in the compositing. And this is uh, how I make the first shot. This is just a photograph. I cut it in three parts and uh, scroll it in, in a bit uh, parallax style so uh, you have to imagine it's, it's a 3d scene it's all <laughs> very easy oh and this is my friend Janos Janos who made the whole sound of this thing yeah it's it's not real music but it's some atmospheric sound and sound effects and yeah he did um, a very great great job I think it's it's very cool the uh, client likes the sound so much that they uh, integrating the whole sound stuff from Janos into the, the whole website, not just in, in this uh, ID movie. And here is not the finished clip, it's just a joke I make uh, while I speak because uh, while I'm making this thing, I uh, just become a uh, last-minute uh, request to making this little uh, thing for for a uh, cinema in, in Germany and yeah I made this and after this I'm working again on the back and here is the, the finished clip That's all. So, and after this, I hope now you have, uh, <laughs> you are very curious uh, about the different production steps. And um, yeah, don't be shy. Uh, give me uh, questions in, in the channel. Uh, what, what you are interested in, what, what I can show you uh, in more detail. And uh, yeah, that was uh, the first part of, of the uh, Ruppel Bug ID making of, just the creation part. And the next ones, the next ones are more for 3D and CG nerds. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And uh, that's all for now. This was Mo Tenzen, uh, aka Kai Tenemann for Mostai TV. Uh, hope you see you again and, and uh, don't be shy. Write uh, your uh, questions uh, about this project. I will answer them in the next part. Yeah, okay, and uh, till now, I wish you a nice holidays. And see you in the next part. This was me for you. Sponsor this uh, whole thing by my friend, my girlfriend, Isa Isa. And uh, for example, this is a t-shirt from Isa Isa. When, when you uh, are resident in the United States, you can uh, order it from the shop from Isa Isa. Um, sorry, I always forget the... The name of the shop but uh, I put it in, in the description of this video so you can find it it's a spreadshirt net yeah here's a link if you like a t-shirt like this designed by my girlfriend then you can order one <laughs> okay <laughs> bye bye <laughs>